Okay, um, here I wanted to demonstrate how to design simple circuit on with a cartesia. We open a cartesia by double clicking it. Alright, this is the main window of a cartesia. Uh, and this is a library window where we have many circuit elements from power supplies, components, and induction motors and systems like elevator or gate system. You can also view a preview on the window, um, upper window of the library. And this is our main window where we have um, toolbar buttons like new file, open file, save file, deleting element, um, print preview, show and hide um, library button. And listing uh, used elements and running the circuit. Let's design a simple circuit with which will just run a motor, three phase motor. We need a three phase supply for motor circuit. Let's have it. Uh, we add elements by double clicking on it. And let's add power line. Say T and double click. Show this like this and neutral line. We'll design our circuit between these two lines. Uh, we need one start button, one stop button, then one contactor and one normal open contact. Mm -hmm. So let's draw a circuit. This is our start button which will go to stop button and which will close the circuit. We can move each element wherever we want. And for example, we need to put this contact between the lines. Let's uh, select the line and press delete key for deleting it or you can also delete by using toolbar. And this is open contact we will use to seal our start key. We can type names for keys, uh, for buttons, say start button, this is our stop button, this is our K conduct, uh, conductor, and here, after we add a key conductor here, we can select it from the uh, drop down combo box. We can also move lab label wherever we want by selecting contact and then moving label after it's selected. You see as a gray it has a gray background when selected. So and also we need to add our three phase motor. Let's add a motor here. Three phase induction motor. And we need three normally open triple contact. Let's add it like this. And here, if you want it to rotate, we, we can click right mouse button on the element and then uh, on the combo menu when we can select the degree say 90 degrees rotate and name it uh, 
think is as our conductor name K. Let's draw lines to the power source and let's connect it to the motor. We can name our motor if we want. Say motor like this. So it's ready to run. Let's go to, from the toolbar, say run. It runs. How <laughs> we add the uh, normal closed contact because if you open it, it will stop. And if you stop it, uh, okay. Here we did a mistake, and let's remove this by selecting and pressing delete button, or we can also press delete button from our keyboard. Let's add normally open triple contact. Drag it here, rotate 90 degrees, then connect it to the power. When connected, um, the red but red circle display effect. You can connect. You can uh, drag from that point and connect to another point and it's blue circle like this and let's name it K OK now if we run it now the motor is is, is not working if we press start it starts to rotate and the K uh, contact is closed and seals the start button if we remove um, our finger from start button it uh, still works. To stop the motor we can press stop button which will stop motor. It, uh, and that's it. So we can save our circuit. We want to save changes. Yes. And here we can so say on desktop, say it is like simple motor liquid. So we can also list elements that were uh, used in our circuit, which is like this: one motor and one contactor with K label, three-phase supply neutral and we used four open contacts for this contactor and zero closed contacts. Three for supply, natural stop buttons uh, T line one start button. And also we can drag this also we can uh, print our circuit on a paper or Here, how it will be visible on, on the paper the printers came in that So we can save it if we did any changes, and then if we close, we can open a new file. So also we can save this file as an image, bitmap image or JPEG or PNG image, whichever you want, say GIF image. Simple motor save. Here image our GIF image. So it's pretty it. Uh, if we made some changes it prompts us to save it if you want. So that's it.